Hello everyone, I welcome you all to Technology Learning Space YouTube channel. In this video, you are going to watch how to deploy a EMC Unity for free. A EMC Unity virtual uh, stack is available in EMC website that you can download and deploy it in your VMware EXSI host and then you can use it for uh, testing or development and it is also supported to use for production purpose. I hope this uh, simple picture give you an idea how simple it is. You can just download the OVF file from EMC website and you deploy it in your VMware EXSI host then start using it. Of course uh, there are some limitations compared to the physical EMC appliances. Uh, uh, there is some uh, capacity restrictions uh, for community edition you can go up to 4 terabyte and uh, just simple uh, when you start with 4 terabyte and uh, uh, you come to a stage that you need more capacity in this uh, virtual EMC instance then you can go for a paid license like uh, 10 terabyte or 20 terabyte or 50 terabyte so the license is capacity based so when you want to uh, expand your capacity you can go for the license and you can do that it doesn't need to scrap or uh, reconfigure everything it is just a matter of applying license so this will uh, realize that uh, the virtual or physical it is same stack running uh, for this EMC Unity. The other limitations are maximum allowed number of uh, LAN is uh, 64 and uh, the maximum LAN size is uh, 16 terabyte so and some other limitations also there. So when it comes to pre-requisites so you don't need any special license for this so this is completely free for you you just need an EMC account if you don't have you can create it now and uh, download it and deploy it in your VMware EXSI host. Uh, the VMware EXSI host um, require minimum uh, a capacity to provide a 2 GB RAM for this uh, virtual instance and also uh, like uh, a 2 virtual CPU and a minimum of 20 or 30 GB hard disk uh, capacity also. So that's all about uh, EMC Unity virtual instance. So let us uh, try how to deploy this. The first step in this deployment is to download Unity VSA software from EMC's uh, website. For this uh, you need a, an account, EMC account, it is free, you can create anytime and uh, you can download it. Once you complete the download, uh, open your VMware EXSI host. Enter the credentials. and click login. Now I'm going to register the downloaded OVF file as a VM in this uh, VMware EXSI host. So for this select a deploy a VMware from OVF then enter a virtual machine name anything. Uh, here I give Unity then uh, select the OVF file that you have downloaded. Select a data store. Here I have only one data store. Uh, if you need to change something here, you can do it here. This is my network mapping. Here you can give a system name. And in the second option, you can give IP address uh, for EMC management. Once you complete the forms, just click next. Here is a summary of uh, the configuration that we have done. click finish from the recent tasks you can see the progress of the activities going on in this uh, VMware EXSI host for this uh, OVF implementation of uh, unity storage in this VMware EXSI host Now the deployment has been completed successfully. 
Now open the console for Unity. You can see a window with SPA login waiting for you. Uh, the username and password is same service. Enter the credentials and log into SPA now. Now uh, we already configured the management IP uh, when we import this OVF file into VMware EXSI host. Here is another option that you can configure IP address for uh, Unity management uh, IP address for Unity and this is the command for it. Uh, you can do it through this console. So SVC uh, underscore initial underscore config minus four then give the IP address. There is no uh, comma or something uh, for separating the IP address and subnet or just, just separated by a space only. Once you complete the commands just enter. Here the error is because I approached to change the configuration um, immediately once the system start up. So we need to wait for a while. And now you can see the configuration is uh, uh, successfully executed. So when you have faced that error, you need to wait for just five minutes or something like that, then it will be okay. Now open command prompt and try this uh, interface is ready. Yeah, it's reachable. So let us uh, browse for um, Unisphere now. Here is my IP address uh, 192.168.1.30. Here the ad, uh, username is admin and uh, password is uh, capital P password 123 hash. Uh, once you uh, log in, you will see an initial configuration wizard. So we will uh, start from here, accept the license agreement, click next. Uh, here you can change the admin password from the default password. You need to meet some complexity for this. And here you have an option to keep the admin and service password same. Click next. Add your uh, DNS server. Here it automatically choose my gateway as a DNS server. So uh, my DNS server is different. So I just remove the existing one and add for a new one. Click next. And TP, I just uh, skip this step. This is a very important step uh, in at this point you have to copy the system UUID uh, from this uh, wizard and uh, you need to submit this to EMC website and from EMC you will get a license file and that you need to install it here. So click on the UUID copy it and then go to uh, software evaluation license uh, link. I uh, just need to paste uh, this UUID in this column and choose a product then click submit. Uh, it will take a small like a 30 second or something to uh, uh, give you this uh, license file. Okay, it's ready to download. Just uh, save it. So here is the license now. So let's go back to the let's go back to our Unisphere and install license. Browse and point uh, the license file that we downloaded. Finish. So we have successfully installed the license. Uh, just click close and continue the wizard. Now it's time to create pools. Uh, click create pool. Uh, 
uh, give a meaningful name here I just give pool one and give a description that you can identify later click next uh, here you can see there is no virtual drive available for now uh, because I just deployed this OVF file and uh, I didn't add any uh, virtual disk to this uh, one so now I'm going to add some virtual disk so that will appear here and then we can create a pool so for this uh, login back to uh, e unit exsi host and from the edit settings from here you can add some hard disk and this hard disk will appear in the wizard uh, that we were trying to create a pool so I had a new hard disk here capacity of uh, 50 GB uh, I add multiple hard disk uh, like three uh, hard disk uh, with the same capacity and now three virtual disk with the 50 GB capacity is ready for my unity storage so let's go back to unisphere and continue the tier assignment now the three virtual disk that you uh, we were created is up here here and here we have to select a storage tier there is three options extreme performance and capacity uh, this comes into uh, a concern that when you are using a physical uh, EMC appliances here it's a virtual appliances and uh, I have only one type of virtual disk so I just go for capacity tier if you have SSD you can choose extreme if you have uh, a SAS you can use performance if you have a SATA you can use say capacity so this is how it defined uh, select a capacity tier click next and select the virtual disk that you want to add as a part of this uh, tier click next and you can uh, create a VMware capability profile for this pool click next uh, you can use uh, an optional tag here click next click next and you will uh, here you can review your selections your configuration for this pool if everything is uh, fine with you just click finish and uh, complete the uh, create pool wizard once uh, we create a pool the next thing is uh, alert setting here you can enter uh, your email address which you want to receive your any alerts like hard disk failure or power supply failure or some capacity issues click next and the proxy server if you have any proxy uh, configuration so that you can configure here uh, this is another part that i discuss in network interface uh, there are uh, four default uh, interface comes with this EMC Unity virtual appliance so you can add that uh, four virtual uh, interfaces uh, to iSCSI for that you have, can choose uh, one by one here you can see 0, 1, 2, 3 there are four ports so I choose uh, port 0 give IP address submit mask gateway and uh, complete the iSCSI interface uh, for all these four ports one by one So once you complete all the four ports configuration for this high school interface, everything will be listed here. Click next. 
here a uh, network at uh, attached to storage servers I am not going to create any NAS server for this one click next and uh, complete the wizard so this is all about the initial configuration wizard that uh, you can relaunch it anytime from the settings so here is the Unisphere uh, HTML graphical interface so that's all about uh, Unisphere deployment in VMware EXSI. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed.